Hello, today I'm going to show you how to convert a DVD or a movie. So to do this you're going to need a copy of AV Video Morpher 3 which you can grab at audioforfun.com. So step one, let's insert the DVD or find the video file. So how you do this is you turn on AV Video Morpher, then you choose the converter module over here and you've got the drop down here for the source box. In English this means you can either choose a disk for converting so you just choose disk and then you open your DVD drive over here either F or G in our case or you can choose file and choose a file to convert so we're just going to choose file here and choose the open button to open the video file so here we are perfectly legitimate copy of Jennifer's body so step two we're going to select the duration of the movie we want to convert so to do this you go down the bottom here and you'll see a select duration slider so basically you select the duration by moving these little triangles around so the one on the left here is the start point for where you want your conversion to start and the one on the right here is your end point couldn't really be much easier than that you can also change the screen size of the video make it a bit skinnier, a bit fatter you just move these lines around so we're just going to move this one here to the left move the bottom up a bit Once you've got it how you want it, you can choose the preview button to uh, preview the video. So just hit preview here. So it starts from the, the beginning point you've already selected and it resizes the screen. So it's all looking pretty good. So we can hit the stop reviewing button here. And that takes us back to the video morpher. So we're just going to pull this one back to the left a little bit and make it a little bit wider. So now we've got our settings right. We need to work on our conversion settings. So this is where all the technical stuff comes in. You just click the output tab. And that brings up the output settings. So this is where you can change the output format. So you can convert it from an AVI to a WMV, which is better for the internet, but we're going to choose AVI here because it's better quality. You can choose the video compressor. You got a we got a choice of few here, but we're going to choose MPEG because it's the best quality. And you can also change your audio compressor. If you don't know what any of this means, it's probably best to just leave it as PCM. And the last thing to do is change your output file. So you click on this browse area here and choose where you want to save your file. You can also give it a file name. So we're going to save ours to the desktop and call it My Video. And you can also add effects down the right here. Tons of different things. We're not going to go through them today, but you're welcome to have a bit of fun with those. And once you're finished, you click the Convert button. And, well, you can probably guess what that's going to do. So, click Convert. It's going to convert it. So just choose the default audio settings and wait. Video compression is quite hard on the computer, so it will take a while to convert. Okay, we're done, finally. And our video is on the desktop. All you got to do is double click on it and you can play it in Windows Media Player, just like you can any other video. So, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. For more information, you can always go to our website, audioforfun.com. And hope to see you again here soon. Bye.